Kita obrol saja. Uh, hello, dear uh, students. Uh, am I audible to you all? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, this is a critical problem. Uh, I will show you the detailed iterations uh, in the next class. Here you can find out, I told you that uh, the critical element. So the critical elements, nothing but the, here uh, you got the critical element, isn't it? So three is the critical element. You have to make it one. Subsequently, this has to be made zero, zero. And for that, uh, uh, you have to calculate. Uh, so therefore, when you uh, turn this into critical element into uh, unit uh, one, uh, one number, and therefore the coefficient of X2, nothing but five, will replace S1 will go out S1 will go out and X2 will come and occupy this particular thing when you made uh, 3 as 1. So this X2 comes and occupies here and uh, 5 comes and occupies this 0 space. As S1 is out completely, therefore the coefficient of X2, nothing but uh, which is given in the optimal objective function, that is 5, will come and occupy this particular thing. So like that, now, after rewriting the first row, after rewriting the first row, uh, you carefully observe this x2 and 5. x2 and 5. So, s1 was thrown out and automatically 0 coefficient was also uh, was thrown out. And uh, finally, you got this uh, uh, 5 instead of. Next, 8 by 3, 2 by 3. You can find out 8 by 3 and 2 by 3. So 8 by 3, 2 by 3, and 3 by 3, 1. Uh, next 0 by 3, and next 1 by 3. So you can find out this is uh, 1 by 3 here. 1 divided by 3, 0 divided by 3, and uh, 0 divided by 3. You can find out like this. You have to write the first row like this. And this is the new row. New row 1, what we are going to call it as new row 1. And with respect to this new row one and a new row two and new row three are to be found out. And uh, for that particular thing, you have to, uh, for identifying this new row two, new, you have to write down new row two is equal to, immediately you mark as old row two. Old row two minus uh, some coefficient into this uh, uh, old row two minus new row one. This is with respect to this particular row one, you have to iterate and identify this particular thing. So as to make zero and you have to uh, minus two into new row one like that. Minus two into row new row one automatically and this becomes zero. So this is already new row one, it is one is there and minus two into new row one automatically it becomes zero. And uh, with respect to like, like that, you have to write down an equation, carry out 
in similar to the first row what you have divided by 3 to make it 1 and so as to make it 0 you have to observe this you have to write like this new row 2 is equal to old row 2 minus of 2 into new row 1 new row 1 so with respect to this new row 1 you have to iterate and finally identify this uh, see that it have, it has to be made zero similarly new row 3 is equal to old row 3 minus again so it is also again 2 minus 2 into new row 1 minus 2 into new row 1 means this is minus 2 into with respect to this particular you have to multiply 2 and uh, therefore you have to carry out the particular iteration here you have to write new row 3 is equal to old row 3 old row 3 means so this is the old row 3 old row 3 with respect to this you have to uh, calculate this particular old row 3 minus 2 into new r1 new r1 means so this is the new r1 so you are going to consider this as new r1 for this particular after that you have to identify the zj which is very crucial please listen carefully zj means so 5 into 8 by 3 sorry 5 into 2 by 3 so 5 into 2 by 3 how much it will become 10 by 3 so 0 into this is 0 this is 0 into 0 automatically so 5 into 2 by 3 10 by 3 it will come here next 5 into 1 5 comes here and uh, 0 into 0 0 into 0 5 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 only you will get 5 similarly next uh, 5 into 0 0 0 into 5 0 0 into 4 0 finally you will get 0 here next 5 into 1 by 3 5 into 1 by 3 you will get and this is 0 into something 0 into something you will get only 5 by 3 and uh, next uh, 5 into 0 automatically you will get 0 so 5 into 0 0 into 1 0 into 0 so you will get only finally 0 only next uh, 5 into 0 and uh, 0 into 0 0 into 1 you will get 0 automatically okay this is zj you have to find out like this previously all these are zeros hence you got all the zeros here you got the new coefficient x2 as 5 so this is very important to understand to identify the particular thing so s1 was thrown out instead that s1 was occupied by the new element and like that you got it now this you have to identify the cj minus zj so you go to the top problem initially so top problem means uh, you see that uh, cj minus zj 354 are there so therefore uh, 3 minus 10 by 3 3 minus 10 by 3 5 minus 5 and there is uh, what is the element here 4 4 is there 4 is there uh, automatically you will get 4 minus 0 you got the 4 have you followed or not so this is uh, cj minus zj the cj values are nothing but 3 4 5 here remaining are zeros nothing but 3 minus 3 5 4 are the elements so 3 5 4 3 minus 10 by 3 so 5 minus 5 0 and 4 minus 0 it is 4 coming like that so 3 minus 10 by 3 how much it will become minus 1 by 3 and this is automatically 5 minus 5 0 and this is nothing but uh, 4 minus 0 it comes as 4 next after comes to this is uh, you have this particular uh, 5 by 3 is there and uh, minus 5 by 3 0 minus 5 by 3 you will get minus 5 by 3 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 you got two zeros so this i hope this uh, you have followed uh, uh, the cj minus zj that cj does not change it will remain as usual 3 5 4 0 0 like that so cj does not change please note down cj 3 5 4 triple 0 does does not change only zj will change uh, subsequently subsequent iterations 
So now CJ manager here minus uh, one by three, zero four minus five by three. In all these maximum positive value. The problem is maximization problem, isn't it? The problem is maximization problem. You got uh, the positive value of four, which is uh, among all the positive values, four is the largest element. Therefore, you have to mark down a vertical arrow. A vertical arrow means this is the entering column, what you can say. Entering column. So in the entering column, there are three, zero, five, four are elements are there. Three, zero, five, four are elements are there. Now the uh, equation uh, uh, values are eight by three, 14 by three, 24 by three. So eight by three divided by zero, eight by three divided by zero, you will not get anything infinity, something like that. 14 by three divided by five. So this is the entering column. The entering column elements, they have to divide the uh, values of the equations. 8 by 3 divided by 0, uh, uh, infinity, and 14 by 3 divided by 5. So 14 by 3 divided by 5 automatically, 14 by 15, and 24 by 3, so divided by 4. 24 divided by, uh, by 4 automatically, you will get, uh, so 29 by 12. So this is not 29 by 12. So 24 divided by 3, it is coming as 29 by 12, something like that. So it is something wrong in this particular case. So 8 by 14 by 3, it's okay. 14 by 3 divided by 5, 14 by 15. 24 by 3 divided by 4. So 24 by 12, it is nothing but 24 by 12. So or else it may get to 29 by 3, you have to check it. If it is 29 by 3, you will get to 29 by 12. If it is 24 by 3, and if you divide by 4, you will get 29 by 12. So these are the values. Among all the values, what is the least ratio? What is the least ratio means 14 by 15 means uh, point something like that. 29 by 12 means it is a larger ratio, smallest ratio, there is no ratio. So therefore, this is the positive value you got is. So, and uh, if you come across this particular thing, now uh, 14 by 15 is the least ratio. Therefore, this is the key element. Five is the key element. Five is the key element. You have to mark this key element with a square box. You have to mark an arrow, horizontal arrow, arrow here. And you have to mark this box as uh, with the square box so that you can make it one. You make it one unit matrix. So uh, next comes to, this is, uh, I hope that uh, you all understand this particular thing. So this is uh, uh, next iteration, next iteration if you come across this. So this is the second row where this is the pivotal element or key element. And this is the key column. Key column means you have to unbox like this. You have to end a vertical line, vertical arrow, you have to mark here. And a horizontal arrow, you have to mark here. And uh, like that, if you mark down after identifying this as key element, now you convert the key element into one here. Uh, then the next iteration, it will be, so here you mark this as a new R2. New R2, you mark uh, with uh, new R2. And uh, therefore, uh, Above this particular line, if you go to the top one, five, about this particular line, you go to this particular thing. So I'm going there. So this is X3. X3 value is nothing but the X3 quotient is nothing but the four values. So, and X3 and four. X3 and four, they are going to, so here X3 and four. S2 is thrown out. Zero is completely vanished. And instead of S2, X3 has come here. The value of the X3, uh, the coefficient of X3 has occupied this particular position. So this 5X2 will remain some, uh, as usual. 4X2, 4X3 is the new one. And 0S3 is as usual. So this is the uh, way particular thing. Here, uh, uh, you got this as uh, 5 by 3. 
sorry, five by five, it is one. So you divide the entire thing by five. So 14 by three by five. 14 by 3 by 5, it will become 14 by 50. Minus 4 by 3 by 5, it becomes minus 4 by 50. So 0, atom 0 by 5, 0, and 5 by 5, 1. And uh, here, 2 by 3 divided by 5, it will become 2 by 50. So this is divided by 1 by 5, automatically 1 by 5. And there is 0 is there, automatically 0 is there. So like that, you have to identify the row 2 this is all these things is nothing but the row 2 which is a positive value row 2 is a positive value so make this one remaining rows the element should be zero should be zero like this here you observe already there is a zero is there already this you made it one and uh, this has to be made zero now this has to be made zero and uh, already a zero is existing therefore uh, you repeat this entire row here you repeat this entire row and copy this 5x2, 8 by 3, 2 by 3, 1, 0, 1 by 3, 0, 0 like this. You have to repeat the entire row because you need not uh, make it 0. Already 0 is existing. Hence, you have copied the particular first row of the previous iteration. And the second iteration row to new row to has come over like this. And now you have to write here new row 3 new row 3 is equal to immediately you have to write old r3 you have to uh, develop the new row 3 with respect to the previous old r3 or uh, row 3 so you uh, write here for your understanding and for your convenience new row 3 is equal to old row 3 old row 3 means this is the old row 3 isn't it this is old row 3 so you have to make it uh, uh, one here, zero here. Old row three minus four into, because it has to be made here, minus four into new row two, minus four into new row two. With respect to this row, new row two, you have to convert this uh, old row three into this particular new row three. So that is very critical in this particular, one has to, unless one calculate, uh, on paper it is very difficult to understand so therefore here you write down once again new row 3 is equal to old row 3 minus 4 into new row 1 so this is sorry new row 2 with respect to this new row 2 you have to calculate uh, the iterations so automatically so this is, uh, I told you 14 by 15, everything the, the, and third row like this, uh, if you calculate the values, new row three is equal to old row three minus four into new row two, four into new row two, please write down, uh, four into new row two. And uh, if we calculate this automatically, it will come like this. It will come like this. Now this is the uh, next iteration. And uh, you can find out 100, 010, and all these things. Now, what uh, our intention is that this is a maximization problem. All the elements, there should not be Cj minus Zj. When you calculate Cj minus Zj, you will not have any positive values. Either zero or negative values, you should be uh, encountering this particular Cj minus Zj. Until... Uh, minus values and zero values comes in CJ, Z minus Z, you have to continue the problems with the number of iterations. That is the difficulty in this particular thing. Now, after this, again, you calculate Z, J. First row is over, second row is over, third row is over, you calculate Z, J. Z, J means is nothing but, so there's a five into two by three. Five into two by three, plus 4 into minus 4 by 15. 5 into 2 by 3 plus 4 into minus 4 by 15. So if you calculate uh, and uh, do the uh, uh, addition, you will get uh, 34 by 15. And here 5 into 1 plus 4 into 0 plus 4 into 0 into 0, you will get 5 1. 
next 5 into 0 you will get 0 5 into 0 you will get 0 4 into 1 finally you will get 4 only next comes to uh, again 5 into 1 by 3 5 into 1 by 3 plus 4 into minus 2 by 15 5 into 1 by 3 plus 4 into minus 2 by 15 plus 0 into minus 2 by 15 it will become 0 if you calculate it will come as 17 by 15 so again 5 into 0 0 plus 4 into 1 by 15 it is 4 by 5 and uh, 0 into this thing and finally you are getting as 4 by 5 only 5 into 0 means 0 0 into this thing 0 and uh, only thing is that 4 into 1 by 5 it is coming as 4 by 5 okay next again 5 into 0 and 4 into 0 you are all getting zeros here 0 into 0 1 is also 0 like this so this is the way so uh, this is the way you have to calculate the values of this particular thing Now uh, you can see this CJ minus ZJ you got it sorry this is uh, the values you got it uh, after uh, doing all these things now CJ minus ZJ I told you at the beginning the 3, 5, 4 are there so 3 first row 3 minus of 34 by 15 3 minus 34 by 15 5 minus 5 0 4 minus 4 0 so like this you are getting the values similarly 0 minus this thing 17 by 5 something is there so minus 17 by 15 he has he got it and 0 minus 4 by 5 you got it minus 4 by 5 and 0 minus 0 you got it like this so i i hope that you have followed uh, this particular thing there is 11 by 15 0 0 minus minus so this one zero second zero minus values minus values zero values so, but there is a positive value again, 11 by 15. 11 by 15 is a positive value. And again, you have to go for one more iteration. So one more iteration means uh, uh, you mark a vertical arrow here, this is the entering column. In the entering column, so, so this is the elements. So this entering column, eight by three divided by two by three. Eight by three divided by two by three, all the elements. So all the values are to be divided by the entering column elements. Eight by three divided by two by three. 14 by 15 divided by minus 4 by 15. So it's a negative value we cannot consider. Infinity negative values cannot be considered. Ratios. Next, uh, S3 here, uh, uh, sorry, 89 by 5 divided by 41 by 5. 89 by 15 divided by 41 by 15. So therefore you can understand the 15, 15 will go out and 89 by 41. So this is the 4, 89 by 41 here what is the least ratio among all the things uh, so therefore this will become the least ratio 89 by 41 will become the uh, least ratio uh, whereas this is the 4 is the uh, bigger value bigger value 8 by 3 divided by 3 by 3 means bigger value so therefore you cannot uh, uh, now this is uh, i told you uh, bigger value means this one is made uh, 41 by 15 is converted into 1. Remaining values 2 by 3 and 4 by 15 are going to be marked as. Now this is the key element. You have to mark this as key element. You have to mark this as key element. So key element is converted into 1 by dividing it into or multiplying it to 15 by 41. 15 by 41. 15 by 41 into 0. 15 by 41 into 0. 15 by 41 into 2 by 15, 15 by 41 into minus 4 by 15. So like this, you have to calculate and uh, you will get this as 100 0, 0 minus 2 by 15, 4, 15 by 15. So finally, after 100, 0, 0, you got it. So in the same process, this 1 means, 1 means the fast starting value, 1 means this is the row. You go for this. 
x1 and 3 x1 and 3 sorry so x1 and 3 so it's a uh, s3 is going out 0 is going out x1 value will come here and 3 is come comes over here so so like that uh, this becomes the new row 1 sorry new row 3 with respect to this new row 3 you have to iterate new row 2 and new row 3 uh, sorry new row 1 new row 1 new row 3 new row 2 and this is new row 3 so here you have to do it uh, to calculate this particular thing new row 1 is equal to old r1 minus uh, this uh, what is the value here uh, 2 by 3 here is, is there minus 2 by 3 into uh, this is row 3, new row 3. Uh, we do it, you will get the values like this. Here, new R2 is equal to, new R2 is equal to old R2. This is the old R2. With respect to old R2, minus, uh, minus, uh, then uh, my, instead of minus, it is a plus 4 by 15. Plus 4 by 15 into uh, new R3. Like this, uh, you have to calculate the particular thing. So after getting this, uh, you got a unit matrix here, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So if you got a unit matrix, it means automatically problem is solved. So sometimes, uh, so therefore, you calculate uh, judge value. So judge value means 5 into 0, 4 into 0, 3 into 1, you got 3. Next, 5 into 1 and 4 into 0, 3 into 0, you got 5. So 4 like this. Next comes to and 5 into 15 by 41 uh, minus 4 into sorry plus 4 into minus 6 by 41 again plus 3 into minus 2 by 41 if you add all these things 5 4 3 30 if you have to multiply these elements 5 into 15 by 41 4 into minus 6 by 41 3 into minus 2 by 41 you got to finally it is 45 by 41 so again, 5 into 8 by 41, 4 into 5 by 41, 3 into minus 12 by 41, you got this particular value. And similarly, 5 into minus 10 by 41, and 4 into 4 by 41, plus 3 into 15 by 41, you will get 11 by 41. So CJ minus ZJ, CJ minus ZJ means automatically, so you got a 3, 5, 4 are there. 3 minus 3, 0. 5 minus 5, 0. 4 minus 4, 0. So 0 minus 45 by 41. So it is a negative value. Minus 45 by 41. 0 minus 24 by 41. It is also a negative value. 0 minus 11 by 41. It is a negative value. So it is uh, all the values are either zeros or negative values. All the values are zeros or negative values. You can uh, see that. All CJ minus ZJ are less than or equal to zero. Less than or equal to zero for non-basic variable. Therefore, optimal solution is reached. Optimal solution is reached. So X1 is equal to X1 is equal to 89 by where is 89 by 41? X2 is equal to 50 by 41. So X1, so X1 is equal to 89 by 41 x2 is equal to 50 by 41 x3 is equal to 62 by 41 so like this you have to identify the values very carefully and therefore you substitute the all the values in the original optimal function in the original optimal function z is equal to uh, in the z value what is the uh, optimal equation you have to substitute the x1 x2 values plus 0 s1 plus 0 s2 plus 0 s3 is there uh, automatically all the values are going to be zero and uh, x1 x2 x3 so this is the z value like that you have to identify the uh, particular values so this is the way i am winding up the particular class uh, so therefore